This note is another note related to processing hydrographic data in Postback. So, uh, from previous notes, I have a problem with this particular particular project. So I'm going to open it. What I did is that I already set up the base station inside here as the VO GDA94. So if I compare with other data, I can see here the property of that point. That's a global one. Should be the same. Uh, this is a global one. Uh, so all of them global coordinate here. So basically, if I have a look at this, I can check the coordinate. You can see that the local coordinate is GDI 94, the POC is 94. Um, the coordinate is exactly what I set inside here, which is 5539723164128. So I finished that setting. I set it as a base station already. It's already a base station. So for some reason it slowed out the system. I'm gonna check that. Okay, it's working now. I check the GNS as initial processor and I hit the run using Infusion single base as usual. So the data is post pipe start processing data, but I'm gonna have an error. Oh, this one, no problem. No, no, this one don't have any error. Yeah, this one is my mistake. This one doesn't have any error. It's fine, this one is fine. The one has several, it's uh, 2019, April 30, the 30, not 29. Okay, but anyway, I need to let it finish the processing. If I cancel it now, I will block it. I, the project is going to be corrupted and then need to do everything again. So, I, yeah, because I start already, so I just let it run until the processing is finished. Okay, that's my mistake. I just close this. Of course, I want to save it. The one I want to say, which is this one, Single base is field RTK net sweat, but the data is corrupted because some of the broken period in the data. Maybe because of um, because of satellite broke uh, broke down or because of um, the signal was broken. So similar, already set up everything. The base station is also already set up inside here. Everything is set up. So I put all the point needed to be imported inside already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to hit the run processing again and let's see what happened. So from the beginning it looks okay, full navigation, fixed infusion, infusion or something LA, RDK, and then something wrong and it's a report, a problem. I don't need to see the message. So what I need to do is I need to check the information here. So I see here at this particular point it has an error. This particular point called, uh, this is uh, GPS second of the week. So what I need to do is I need to note this information there which is 17178320.013 error. So that means before that moment it's going to be alright. So the moment that's going to be alright is that um, what moment is okay? Something yeah, ambiguity failure clear. So the the great navigation solution here you can see that so ambiguity failure clear. So the problem until this point is not good. It's an error. So we're gonna let's skip skip the the error and continue to go for that. So we notice now we go to project setting. We go to Genesis processing level arm. Of course the level arm we wanna make it small. Gams we want also small as well. And we go to timing. In the timing, we don't choose entire time interval. We change the time interval. So because of the arrow, it's 171283. We want to enter it here. 171223. Eight, but 822. I thought that we were right. And then we hit OK. Then we hit the processing again. Let's see what happened. Everything will be all right. I believe so. Even the quality is not so good, but we can have the final result. So we can process, so the strategy is, we're gonna segment by time. So we're gonna segment by start to 171.822. This is uh, part one. We script the part that has error, and we go to the next part. It looks all right, the aspect is writing to the fine, or it's going well. So this is one of the tips and uh, that we normally don't know if it's corrupted, we just let it corrupted, but actually we have the solution to fix it.
just to look pretty good so we saw the uh, accuracy then we're gonna go to report we go QC and uh, we're gonna make it as generate the report we override the report again so here we have the report looks like this before but now it's only to 17822 yeah not not up to that point this is 172 we only put it 171 or 80 so this part is, is very bad so the arrow is up to 30 meter we only want something up to here so it's going to be better let's see how we get the result inside display plot here uh we see this yeah it's it's not perfect but the maximum arrow which is 14 centimeter so you can see that 14 centimeter is not bad in comparison with the uh, real-time solution. So if we use other solutions such as PPP, maybe it's better. So maybe we can set the solution in here and then we use PPP later. So I'm not sure the PPP, but we need to check how the PPP is working. So we need to check the result for PPP solution. Did that one process using PPP? Yes. So we have a PPP one here. If we compare with it we can see that the ppp at this particular time is not as good as that one as well uh 0.1 that's a ppp not bad it's one cent is 10 centimeter is not bad so how, how about marine star at that particular time marine star is slow it's not better marine star is not so good marine star is not so good yeah marine star is not so good you can see that yep um i think we should cut the report between here and here to make it better but basically if we use the uh tpp we have 0 0.1 which is actually better than this one so we should limit our processing to 171 maybe five six seven eight five six maybe six yeah seven maybe seven yeah maybe we should change the part one to part one to 171 instead of eight we're going to go to seven because this is five six seven here eight here we go to seven here. let's go six five because six five zero and see how it works for us yeah let's let give it a try let's give it a try and change it to not eight but uh six five zero yeah and then uh, go back to processing <coughs> so we want to limit that and this particular time needs to be recorded and then we're gonna produce a version of ppp for that exact particular or maybe maybe we can somehow yeah we can shot that this one is using ppp uh, uh, ppk and then short the period between that we use we use ppp and then after that we use ppk again so let's have a look because the ppp maximum of the ppp is actually 0 0.12 which is not bad so go back to the report and see the result here okay so we can see the result now we have is the at the end of it is, is very bad one seven one five six maybe six is better because at the end of it is terrible it's 0 0.3 which is not good at all so let's say project setting we go to zero I'm not sure okay let's go for that because it's pretty quick to reprocess because it's a time limited we go for it and see how it works for us see the fast tone it's also very time consuming cpu it's very heavy software all good for side forward for solid side forward for solid arm up at the end of it but it's looking good here okay so report display have a look at this here we go um is this better it's not better than ppk so it's always actually worse so we can see that from the beginning to that particular point it's not better okay so we have to say that ppp in this project is actually better than better than than ppk but for some particular point it's better no it's, it's very good actually it's very good what happened it's actually very good it's two centimeter it's it's very good yeah it's very good here it's two centimeter it's actually very good oh no so if we change it to five four again let's say four again it's very sensitive there we just want to test it and see how it works and when we understand it we can chunk it that part and get ppk solution and then for the part ppk is not good we're going to use ppp instead okay so see the report you can see this one boom not good which is one centimeter so very important set the time only you know one so that's very important very sensitive at that particular point 
not good data there. Fine alignment, fix NL RTK for precise forward processing. The solution is full navigation, so it's pretty good. The estimated accuracy, position accuracy looks good. Not jumping here. So we test the arrow again. Hopefully this time will be okay. Okay, so this time will be okay. That means the arrow is 2.3 centimeter, which is excellent. Then we make a report, and then we say this one is part one. This is PPP. We want to make the report back to here. The report will be overrided, no problem, because we regenerate again. We're gonna put this as report again. So we copy this, we're gonna save it. It's gonna be inside 30 mission report. Yeah. And then uh, this one, I would say uh, 0217 yeah, let's just copy this. No, it's not here, so we need to change it again. Not that location, so be in that location. Here we go. So that one, particular one, one seven one six one zero. I see. Let's copy. Yes. Another one here. This is four centimeter, which is good. B. Then we close this down. We save it. What we need to do now? We need to make this as part one. We may need to make multiple parts in our project in order to make it work for us. This one, yeah. So we're gonna open the projects again. We rename it and then we rename from a general one to part one. We save as another project and we continue to process that way. We're gonna save as inside the same location here. Probably not needed to be changed. Uh, okay, part two. So we arrive, take a while for data to copy and change location. So because of the arrow, we basically just chunk cut the arrow path of navigation data out and then just process shipment by shipment the good part of the data. still because the memory is used by fast stone or screen recording so it's pretty slow but it's alright I will close this okay so I'm done for this so this second time what I'm gonna do is just a similar level RAM everything will be the minimum level RAM the minimum GAMS is also minimum timing algorithm I don't know multi path medium algorithm short long page short long short I don't know just do automatic but the time is very very important so this time I'm gonna it's the entire one and then I'm going to start with 171825 just give it a try to see the result how it looks like basically and then go here and hit the one just want to test this it may be working fine or maybe not working so we can say it has a bump in the arrow there but this okay it it's not a uh, corrupted this is not a fatal arrow it's just something that caused the uncertainty to be so big so I believe uh, in here I already set up the base station everything is set up because of the set as project just change the starting time the ending time and start processing again it takes longer time because the, the time period of this part is bigger and it looks promising that it's gonna process the whole project sometimes the, the uncertainty is not so good like up to 10 centimeter or more than that Sometimes it's even up to like one meter. Wow, this part is, is bad. This part is bad. This part is two meter. But hopefully when it goes to the... Oh, we have a problem again. Which is another arrow. So we're going to note the arrow that the next arrow we got, which is 171, 173 actually, 841.013 arrow. Okay. So let's have a look at the report to see how the arrow looks like. As a result, looks like you're gonna see that it's um, okay. So here, from the beginning, it's not so good as well. So we should not start from there. We probably should start from. So we can see this is um, one seven two. Seat probably one one seven one nine one seven one eight one seven one eight two five one seven one nine maybe. So I'm gonna go for one seven one nine zero zero. Maybe 2200. Zero zero. I'm not sure. Okay, so this from here to here 200. Okay, yeah, 200 here. Probably 
I will say that um, make it a seven nine zero. Not sure. Let's give it a try. And then the next one, the arrow is so high, which is one seven three. I will say this is one seven three. It's okay. Three eight is okay. So forty is arrow. I'm gonna go to zero zero. I'm gonna go to zero zero. Now maybe twenty eight twenty. You know, just trying. I don't know. I'll give it a try. Because to um, so go for it here. Just copy and paste this inside here. And then hit that and run again. And yeah, you know, hopefully all is good. Looking good. The speed is seem speed seem quicker. We have a hope, but for this one we had to segment into three different segments. We just segment it into three different segments. Three different projects. All good. All looks good. Very quick. Display the report. There you go. Oh my goodness. See that? Oh, uh, 10 is not so good. Yep, 10 is not so good. So we're gonna put it in here. 173800. The start is good. The start is good. The start is very good. Um, maybe you can go from 8, 0, maybe 10. Yeah. That one, go from 0. So come back to the setting, project setting, change the start to like that, and the end to like that, and hit the processing again. So we just try an arrow and try an arrow and hope that we get good solution this time. So when it's working, we need to know that, okay, so PPP is gonna be from 171610 to 171810. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so you can see that the starting point is pretty good. The starting point is pretty good. Um, probably, I was so surprised that I put the starting point there and it's still working fine. Even the arrow is here, the starting point here is working fine. I don't know why. I want to say something wrong with myself. So 716 is okay, isn't it? 6, 7, no, give it a try. But 8 is too much. So we go for, uh, I think, 7. 7 is better. Yep, so we can, we can put it aside here and then go to project setting and then keep it one more time so just try an arrow like this many many times processing again close this yeah it's still more than one i think from the right side so that should be all right report okay look at that so 0 0.2 is not good so definitely i need to make it uh, 75 yeah six six and then five here but on the left is pretty good. It's amazingly good, isn't it? Was surprised. So I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna make it just the. Um, I don't know. It's very strange. How about put this one? It's really strange. <laughs> Let's go. Really strange. If it's working that way, it will be <laughs> very, very strange. I have no idea what is happening here. Just a second time. Check the result. Wow, this time is much better. Two centimeter here and three centimeter here. That's perfect. This is perfect. We can have something. This is perfect. So we can make a report now. All good. We can rise a report now. So this, before we make a report, we just want to make sure that the report is correct. A little bit inside here. We need to delete this. And then we generate the report. Here yeah, it's automatically. That's great. And that is part two. Did I do that part two here? Yeah, part two. And I, I don't need it. That's funny. What's really funny is that arrow is here, part one to here, part two from there, and go over the arrow. No problem. That's what happened. I don't know. Really funny. So I can make a report, display, and report to this location. So, of course, this one, the term. It should be not with that one from that particular point to this particular point. Really interesting, really good. So that that is surprise. This is a surprise for me. I didn't expect the results good like this. So say this and then say as part three. It take a long time. So I'll wait for that. Have a look at the report. I just want to see the. Uh, the layout part of uh, part two and part three. Hey, this part is very short. So if I have a look in part one, the layout of part one is looking like this. Okay, yeah, so just bit by bit. Part three is still pretty big. 
hopefully for part 3 we don't have any more error we can go from 173650 to the end of this survey and we can save this information for our processing using other base station as well this is a great way to fix the error value of, of, of navigation data I don't know is any other project that ha has this problem yeah when it processes and it causes a problem don't remember but this is the first time I know how to fix this so we're done for this similar we're gonna go to that and project setting of course we're gonna start with this value we will start with that value we go until the end and just hit the run button see what happens arrow there it will go over the arrow that is surprised And then when we put data inside camera, we will put the aspect PPK as priority And then we will put, not another, we will put um, PPP as secondary And then we can put uh, post-processing in running star as, as a third And then finally we can put the real-time navigation data That is a recommendation yeah. So how we can recommend that? How we can recommend that? really we don't have time to test all the solution if we had time to test all the solution we can have that recommendation which is a insightful information for other people not sure but it's looking good it's running fine the side forward processing looks good finger crossed until the end and zero yep so I say start up to and this AN is part 3 I'm going to put this up here so I'm going to notice inside Look. the accuracy is around 3 cm sometimes 2 sometimes very close to one centimeter which is incredible it finished have a look at the report display smooth performance wow which is five centimeter which is much better than ppp yeah i'm happy with the result so i mean i can go to here i can go to part three here and i can generate a new report just generate you know part three should be part three this is part three so why single base that way a part two we're gonna go to part three okay so i'm gonna just browse it to part three listen report in here and hit generate so the result is surprisingly good it's very funny that if we merge all in one project, we have error, which is fatal error. But if we separate it into three different smaller sub post pack projects, it's working fine. What's happening? What's going on? I don't know why. It's just working. So here we're going to go to part three, go for that. And let's say, go another one. So this time, we going to have that one, that one until the end for H and this is blue and the height is 2 cm which is better than expected vertical I'm done for that I save this save this and uh, I can finish this one so similar I can do the same for uh, for Hillary base so I want to say this one is I'm going to change name now part 1 because I know that I need to change later so this is part one this should be okay from here i can change this to part one and i can start now and because i have the setting here i want to do the same exactly the same so from the beginning go to initial here the setting this project setting have a ram make it smaller again make it smaller timing not entire from that to from the beginning to one seven one six one zero and hit ok and run it so if it's working fine that's mean 
The problem is not base station, the problem is rover data, rover raw data. If it's not working fine, the problem is base station. Mm. We check the report. It's looking good. Two centimeter elevation is, oh my goodness, one centimeter, really. It, it's more than expected. It's actually more than expected. I don't expect that it's good. No, this is not Hurricane as well. This is this is zero two one happening here. I will be put back down here. One seven one six one one six one zero eighty eight nine. Is that yeah? Okay. That's okay. Another one. Put in the speed. That's okay. Then we just say this and say as number two. Go to project. Project setting. Similar. This one is a start and this one is the end. It's okay. Go to run. Yes, just continue. Very quick. I believe that I can make a report now. So I need to go to that particular project. Make sure that this one deleted. I generate now. Oh no, not the location. So there you go. Yep. And then all is good. Display report. Small performance. Looking good. It's it. Oh, okay, that one. And just go for that. And then get that one. For vertical. And change the V for vertical. Oh, uh, are you correct? I don't think that we're right to the right location. Sadly, it's not the right location. Need to save it again. Yes, so this is vertical one. And this is horizontal one. This time, absolutely the right one. Okay. Save it. Say as a project. Part 3. Sorry, that into project setting. So now the setting is everything from there to the end of the project and then run. Go to the new location, just delete the report. Okay, and then uh, let's say, you know, go for that. What we want to have here, and then go for the that one, price until first, quitting for the result. And then when I have the result, I just say and done. This is the most important project for me, so I need to have it done correctly. Oh, it's not as I expected. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Not as I expected. So in this particular part, the arrow was going to be 79, 139. So I have another arrow. Another error which is 179139013, which is incredibly crazy. Does that mean we're gonna have part four? So let's see the report first. How it looks like to that particular point. We just go to that location. Not AN, which is 179000. And then from 179000 to the end. Something wrong project settings so we just go for 17900 because the arrow is before it 100 go for it and run it should be very quick oh, tree crazy it's not easy anyway RDK next where is working fine now so no problem if this one's not working for me but for this particular base station, the solution is gonna be four paths instead of three paths like RDK Nest West report display at What's going on? 0 0.7, that's not good. Something wrong with it. So that particular path is going to be, it needs to be 17800, 1782, 1782, I think so. 17800. Maybe 5, but you know, 2 3, that's enough. 2 3. <laughs> it's so funny that I prepare for the name before, but it's not working. Okay, I go to report and hit display. Check this and wait for the result. And it's looking good, so I just go to that particular part, which is part three in here, just inside there, and then name of it, just this one. Can we apply? Looking good. Name of it, just chain the vertical. Run this, chain the QC, location of this will be three. Done, generate it. And funny, but we're gonna have part four. Which is hopefully the last part of this this survey.
Then we are in CS as a uh, part four, waiting for the result. Go to project setting, and then set up the time. Then run again and finger cross. So check the arrow, it's looking good, 4 cm. So finally this survey has 4 parts, which is funny. The other the other same survey with different base station has this survey with different base station has 3 parts, but for this base station has 4 parts. That horizon to 1 cm and then vertical 1 cm, which is pretty good. Which is actually very good, 4 cm. And we can save it, and then we can make a report. The report should be inside that particular location. Inside report, and inside report, inside save, generate. Then we can close and finish this survey. So that's this for this, uh, probably note 11 on uh, post pack processing for hydrographic navigation data when we have fatal error. So in this note, we try different way to solve the problem and the solution is if we have a particular fatal error, we just chunk the whole survey into smaller different parts and then all is good.